Here is an example walking through a blog post of where Google looks the most on a website page for key search terms and phrases. Uh, this will give you an idea for a single page or post how to optimize it with on-page keyword density factors. So for this uh, blog post, the target keyword is Simult Referral Traffic. There's a couple of ver phrase variations that you'll see that I was targeting as well, such as those specifically searching for that traffic appe appearing in their Google Analytics stats. Uh, but my primary keyword target is Simult Referral Traffic. So um, according to our document, when we walk through this, we want to see the uh, target keyword and or a phrase match variation uh, in each one of these. First is the URL. And then you can see up here we have Simult False Traffic, which is a phrase variation. Uh, most people searching for it are probably searching for uh, with the same search intent as those trying to figure out Simult Referral Traffic. Next is the H1. H1 appears one time on the site um, on any given page or post, and this is the H1. The H1 contains an exact match of my target keyword with Simult Referral Traffic. H2 to H6s are great ways to use subheadings to break up the different content and sections of a longer blog post. We have subsections here with H2s and H3s, and those have a lot of phrase variations, obviously talking about Simult. So you have Simult, a crawler. More related is traffic from Simult crawlers is another phrase variation. Website stats and Simult's crawler is another phrase variation. Next that's important is the first two sentences of the first paragraph of body text. Google doesn't always crawl the whole thing, uh, so we want to make sure that we get the important stuff up at the top for keyword density. So right here, web stats refer as Simult is right in the first sentence. And then what the traffic, what the Simult traffic is, is also in the first sentence. So I included two different phrase variations there. Next is emphasized or bolded text. In this particular post, there was a lot of subheading text, so there was not a need to add emphasized text. There's also a lot of mention in the subheadings of the target keyword. And you can see one of those here, some alt traffic data. Next is the image alt text. Uh, that is the three to five ideally terms that accurately describe the image for browsers that can't support images or for those that need assistive visual devices to browse the internet. Keep in mind they do have a practical purpose, so we don't want to keyword stuff here. We do want to accurately describe the image. So here's an example. This is pulling in recent tweets complaining about some alt traffic. Let's take a look at the alt text on the back of this image. Alt equals right here, some alt referral traffic complaints. Some alt referral traffic is an exact match, but it also is an accurate description of the image. Next, we're going to look at the page title, which appears in Google search results. Okay, so you can see here uh, the page title. We have a search page up, and here is the Lawton Digital search result for the same page. And you can see, of course, now I'm embarrassingly breaking the rule about the page title being too long, so I apologize. Don't copy off of that. Um, but you can also see the exact match for my target keyword, Simult Referral Traffic. Also an exact match for my target secondary keyword with Simult Referral Traffic in Google Analytics. Next is Navigation Link Text. So in this case, because this is a blog post, it doesn't really apply to have navigation uh, specifically going to this post. If this were a uh, main static page that we were optimizing, then we would want to make sure that the navigation text, such as this text right here across my top level navigation, if we were targeting one of those pages, it should match. Uh, so this digital marketing page right here should have, um, digital marketing should be part of the exact match keyword that I'm targeting when I click on that page. 
finally, anchor text link. So an anchor text link is a great way for Google to see what a page is all about by looking at text linking to it throughout the website. Now I separated this from navigation because it is a slightly different level of emphasis and can occur more than one time on the site. So let's go look at an example. Now in this case we have it easy with a WordPress blog post because the anchor text can be pulled directly in when you go to the category feed for this blog. So if you scroll down on the category tech on the blog, you can see that Samalt referral traffic in Google Analytics stats links directly to the post and it's just pulling in from the feed. So if I were to click on this, I go straight back to the page. And that covers all of the factors. Keep in mind that you don't want to include an exact match on every single one of these. You have to include phrase variations and try to make those phrase variations things that are likely to have similar or the same search intent for optimization success. Good luck!